The new advisory on Hurricane Irma is just in from the National Hurricane Center. Irma is a major hurricane in the Atlantic, and we all need to watch it very closely. CBS4 meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez is tracking Irma, and she's here with that new advisory. Lisette. And Lauren and Vanessa, Irma remains a dangerous major Category 3 hurricane as of the latest 5 a.m. advisory. Max sustained winds 115 miles per hour, located about 1,665 miles east of the Leeward Islands and moving to the west northwest at 12 miles per hour. Now, Irma is forecast to become even stronger, potentially a Category 4 hurricane as we head into the middle of next week. So by Wednesday early in the morning, it could be just east of the Leeward Islands. There is a lot of uncertainty, even more reason to monitor this closely here over the next few days. Many models keep Irma moving towards the west, then a little bit more towards the southwest, and then we see more of a northwesterly track as we get into early next week. And here's where it gets tricky. We're going to take a look at two of our reliable models. We have the U.S. A global model here. It's shaded in blue and then the European model, which is more of that yellow shaded area. So as we take a look at where these models are forecasting Irma could be headed right now, the GFS is showing that Irma could be taking more of a northerly track, potentially just to the west of Bermuda. But then the European model is showing that Irma could be headed towards the Bahamas and in our general direction as we head into next weekend. So absolutely Absolutely going to need to keep a close eye on Irma, especially folks along the southeast coast and here in South Florida. Now is a good time to make sure you have all your hurricane supplies and that you have your plan in place. It is, after all, the peak of the hurricane season. So we'll continue to watch Irma as it continues to move here towards the Leeward Islands over the next few days. Now, what's happening is we have slightly cooler ocean water, actually, which is impressive, the fact that it rapidly intensified, but then very warm ocean water here as we get into uh, the weekend and early next week. That's the reason why it's expected to become a Category 4. And we widen out the view to give you a perspective as to just how far it is from us. In the meantime, we're waking up to a couple of showers here across South Florida, Key Biscayne, earlier in Cutler Bay, now in the hammocks, as well as the lower keys. The breeze right now out of the east southeast, 7 to 8 miles per hour, low to mid 80s. It is warm, steamy. Highs will be in the 90s. Take your umbrellas. Scattered storms today, the Labor Day weekend forecast ahead right now. Let's get a check of your traffic.